Well, my name is Sam Gadusipour. I'm a urologic oncologist and assistant professor of surgery here at the Rutgers Cancer Institute of New Jersey. Very happy to share some information on kidney cancer with you all, and uh, these are my top five facts to know. There are several different types of kidney cancer, including uh, something called renal cell carcinoma, which is a type of kidney cancer that comes from the parenchyma or the, the meaty tissue of the kidney. And there's another type that is much more rare called urothelial carcinoma that affects the inner linings of the kidney where urine is collected. Even though there's uh, an increasing incidence in the rate of diagnosis of kidney cancer, there are fewer and fewer deaths each year because patients are presenting with earlier stages of disease. These earlier stages of disease typically do not present with symptoms. They're typically just found on accident when patients get routine imaging. But symptoms of concern include blood in the urine, which we call hematuria, pain on your flank, which is right under your ribs, closer to your back, or a palpable mass in your abdomen. So risk factors for developing kidney cancer include smoking, number one, that can increase risk of renal cell carcinoma and urothelial carcinoma. Obesity and eating fatty foods has also been linked to kidney cancer, as well as having high blood pressure and chronic kidney disease or cystic kidneys. Genetic risk factors are also very common in kidney cancer. So if you do have a family history of kidney cancer or other cancers, that should be discussed with your physician as well. So treatment options for kidney cancer really depend on the type of kidney cancer. The management of renal cell carcinoma and urothelial carcinoma are very different. If caught early, the treatment might just be keeping a very close eye on things. For urothelial carcinoma, if caught early, we can manage it endoscopically, meaning you don't have to have your kidney removed. Sometimes you can remove just a small part of the kidney, and sometimes the whole kidney does have to be removed, but that is typically done in a safe way so that your overall kidney function remains stable. Uh, there's important medical treatments as well, including immunotherapy and chemotherapy, and all of these things are offered here at the Cancer Institute in a very multidisciplinary fashion. So there's a lot of research going on in the management of kidney cancer. There's cutting edge research being done every single day here at the Cancer Institute that includes basic science research, uh, which is done in the laboratory and clinical research, which is research done directly with patients. Uh, we have a very uh, diverse clinical trial portfolio on all aspects of kidney cancer management, including the medical management, surgical management, prevention, and monitoring of disease.